Hello everyone. It's a beautiful day in Ohio. So I figured I would do your tarot card reading outside. Out amongst nature. So sorry about any animal noises and all that, but I have to be out here. It's just perfect weather. It's like 80 degrees with clouds. So I'm hoping it won't rain. You never know what's coming next <laughs> in Ohio. You just can't tell. It changes in an instant. But I don't think we'll get rain, a rainstorm during this reading. This reading is for Scorpio signs. It's what you can expect this summer in your love life. If you would like to purchase a personalized reading, my email address is em3dj3 at gmail.com. And I can't wait to meet you because I love you. Okay, so starting off this spring, this summer, in your love, romantic life, you got the Nine of Cups. So there will be some celebrations going on for you. And it's one of those celebrations where you can keep on celebrating because you know that there's more to come. That spot right there is the current, the core situation in your love life. In spot number two, this spot represents past feelings and the past attitude. And this one shows me that you have a connection with a certain person, this infinity symbol here. And it was, it was very strong, your feelings for them back then. But it was something that was also, it was growing. It, this card's all about working on yourself at the same time. So this tells me that you were fixing some things about yourself and maybe had to make some changes to try and get this relationship to work out for you. Okay. Um, the next spot here, for the next spot, for Scorpio signs, love the spring and summer. It's the King of Wands. This spot here represents the spot where this is your past actions. So there was definitely a lot of passion in this connection. And you guys were actively together in some way, shape, or form and sharing your desires and passions with each other. Pull this last card and then I'll go ahead and explain the rest. That's a wonderful, wonderful card there. Okay. So it's going to be great. Your love life is going to be booming. Those cups in the middle here for the core issue represent feelings. Um, they represent, you know, it's like that cleansing waters. So you can just, you know, some people would say like tip back, <laughs> let loose and just enjoy your feelings and how you feel about this other person. And in the past, it was getting stronger the way you felt. And it was, you know, meant to be that infinity sign. And here we have that the, there was active communication about your passions and your desires. Yeah. This one here is, um, in this spot, is gonna represent the, like, where it's heading. And look at that. It's heading to house and home. It's heading to the Ten of Cups. And that's why I mentioned this one, you know, ahead of time because it went from the Nine of Cups in the middle, which is the core issue, and where it progresses throughout the summer and spring is to this Ten of Cups. That's you guys actually spending quality time together and really enjoying the way you've, it feels to be together. This is the Six of Wands. And this is a, a, another fire card. So it's all about those passions. In the Six of Wands, it's kind of like victory. And to be in that spot, it's representing the universe's advice for you. They're saying to celebrate your victory. They're saying, consider it done. It's already done, right? And when something's already done, we never question it. We we talk about it like it's happening. We, we act like we're together, even if there's periods of separation for the two of you. Because the universe's advice for the future of the situation, 
I mean, that's the advice for the present situation to make it all happen. But the advice for the future card is it's already done. It's the eight of wands. So it's just um, with that card, it's already set into motion. And it's really like there's nothing you can do to stop it. You asked for this. You manifested your passion, your person, and it's already done. It's already happened. And so it is, right? This is the way that it feels. And here we have the devil card. And that's the number 15, if that's important to you. These are the spirit elements. This one here and the strength card, um, the element of spirit. So really, we only have the element of passions and desires and the element of those cleansing, wonderfully feeling great waters. And then we have two spirit cards present. So the way that you are going to feel in the future is like you cannot stop yourself from being with this person. You're going to understand that you two are tied together and it's going to be so much temptation. And <clears throat> I know that sometimes people get a little bit afraid with the devil card, but it's nothing to be afraid of. It's, it's a bond that's strong, so strong that it cannot be broken no matter what happens. And I think that's a beautiful thing, really and absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Let's do a Celtic cross with the regular deck here, the standard deck. Quickly here for you, Scorpios. Okay. So right now you're letting go of the things that no longer serve you. And that's what's gonna open you up to this romance. What's getting in the way is that self work, you know, the acupuncture they say with this card. Um, it's, it's letting your mind take over because swords are the element of air. And um, like I feel here, like what's getting in the way is like you're letting what somebody's saying get in, in the way. It's, it's really making you feel bad. And that's what's when, when it comes in the, the spot there, it means that's what you're going to be overcoming. You're not going to let those people bother you or what anybody says. And what you desire for is this victory. Taking that victory lap. And, you know, I feel not having to look back ever again. And what you have as your resources, yes, this person is your world. They complete you. That's nirvana. It's bliss. It's what we get when we get to a spot in our life. That's a spirit element there. Um, life's points on life's journey where we, we don't have to worry about anything. In the past, you were working very hard, but this relationship might have taken a pause. And I do not feel like either of you at any point stopped really just cherishing what you had before. In the future, it's two cards here. We have the Knight of Wands. So it, it's going in hot. It's going to get very hot and heavy <laughs> if you must. <clears throat> Somebody's going to work really hard to get the other one. So that is the element of fire. So if either of you, you know, really resonate with any of the fire signs in the sun, moon, or rising signs in your charts, then that's going to come out because this lover's card is what we get for the follow-up here. It's finding each other, you know, yourself in another it's sharing that cup, making that toast. It's, it's, it's almost like you could expect a proposal um, or be making some plans for the future. You two are one, twin flames. And I like where this went because in the past it was this material earthly stuff that was, you know, it, it was important to you. But in the future, it's your passions and feeling good with your person that really take over. Because of the way that my layout is here, I'll put the, the last cards just right here in the middle. And this is how you feel. You're wearing that crown. You've got divine guidance and wisdom. You've got lessons that you've learned. And this is them. So that could be the other person could be the divine masculine for real and it really for this to come here 
and I don't want to sound weird because it's not really gender specific, but they want to take care of you. They want to be your daddy or like they are very authoritative at times and you love that about them. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of hard to reach up there. Can you guys hear my cat, Tom? He's being part of our rating. He's in there meowing at the window. He wants to come out too, but we can't have him coming out. Here we have the magician. This spot here is for hopes and fears. So you want to work your magic, but you're kind of afraid to at this point. It makes you sort of nervous at times. And there's another infinity sign on that card. So you know it's coming no matter what. And you know it's always going to be guided there. This is the one about pulling each other's energy or you know just channeling the energy that you need to be productive. <clears throat> for the relationship to be productive. Let's see what we get last. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, this card here is the Empress card. So this is the Divine Feminine. It's, it's connecting with Mother Gaia, and that one is about being mommy. So you guys really need to take care of yourselves, of each other, excuse me. And you're using, there's the Emperor and the Empress present here. So you're definitely would make a very good couple. That can be, you know, when the two of you are connected and together, it's that, that balancing out of the divine feminine with the divine masculine energies as well. So you definitely complete each other and you need to find a way. And I don't think you'll have any problem with that this spring. These are wonderful cards. You can expect a, you know, a very amazing love life. A very fertile love life. And so for some of you, there may be children. You may be you know, some pregnancies coming with that last card. That's where it's all heading. Let us do four cards from this deck here. We have baby kittens. See my cat scratch. They climb on your hand and they bite you and they scratch you. They're a one month old. So if anybody would like a little kitten, let me know. We're in good homes for them. They are so cute and perfect and healthy. If you're interested, let me know. My email address is em3dj3 at gmail.com. I'm in Ohio. You'd have to come pick it up. So, And here we go. Well, this one's flipped. We'll use this too. So we begin this portion of your love life reading with the sun. That is so perfect and beautiful because in many areas it is spring. And this reading is about that spring and that summer love. See them dancing around there, holding hands, and they're, they're frolicking in the sunflowers. So you guys may definitely be spending some time outdoors. And I'm basing that on that last part of the read too. Now we have another ace, eight of wands, excuse me. The Eight of Wands, I mean, watch them channeling that energy. You guys have manifested each other. You can expect this to happen way more swiftly than you are, you know, intending for it to even. It's just going to be like that. And when we look down here, it's balancing out the scales, that justice card. See the little yin-yang on there? And the two different elements represented here. You guys really do balance each other out. And it, that with that card, it would be a shame and injustice if you guys were not together. And this card reminds me totally of that flirty. Um, it's just you, you really tempt them. Um, I, I picture and feel a couple who can laugh at each other and just have a, a wonderfully good time. You guys know just the right things to say to each other to make that other person feel like, oh my gosh, I love them so much. And the mood car moon card comes next. It's another card about balancing out. Um, those are the two different towers there. And you see the, the different colored dogs at the bottom there. And then there, there's almost like a yin yang in the fish below there. This is meant to be, it's guided, it's going to happen. And it's so confusing to you anytime that you're not together in your life you both, you both are actually thinking, oh my gosh, this doesn't make any sense to me. So you really are going to be guided with a lot of signs coming up. Expect to see even more number 
synchronicities and if you are somebody who can pick up on animal messages and anything at all that the way that you know your spirit guides and your team are trying to get through to you guys and that they can communicate with your subconscious mind but then that's where the confusion comes because our thinking minds or judging you know mind it gets in the way but to get this card the moon and justice there it's really great because this is all going to start to make a lot of sense for you too it's going to make sense for you two to get together right it always has and you're starting to you know not be able to like fight that let's look at some elemental information and today we'll start with the south it's the seven of cups and the south is the area of fire so you want to satisfy your desires your in the the cups or feelings you want to feel good this guy says here in this deck especially you have absolutely nothing to worry about this is in the water side this is to the west this represents what is being cleansed, what is being healed. It's those worries, those fears that it's not going to work out. Everything is going to be all right. That's what that card says. Ooh, we got another emperor. And this one's to the north. So the divine masculine in some relationships could live in the north. But the north is a spot of the material things. And see that crown here? They are taking the crown. If the number four is important to you, that number's really standing out to me. I know right now when I'm making this and recording this, it's April. So, and we had gotten that swiftness card twice. That definitely could be happening this month. Some very big improvements up here. We get the devil card. It's that tempting each other. That the way I'm looking at this now, I would like to mention <clears throat> the ram on the card. We could have an Aries sign involved in some cases, but maybe not in all. This is a general read. And it's almost painful to be apart. That card is in the east. And I get a huge sense that you two are going to be telling you each other, I cannot live without you. I just can't do it anymore. And, this, and that's why you're going to start making sense of it all. You're, you're going to say to each other, this makes no sense. Ooh, look at the little, I'm right, because that little ant just crawled on it. And because the next card is the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card about collaborating your emotions and your feelings with each other. It's the two cups cleansing. And then in the, the top cup, it's so good for you guys to cleanse each other. Because it's fertile for everyone involved in your lives. It's always been heading there. Yeah, the last two cards. Sorry about my allergies. I feel a little sniffly when I'm outside. Somebody's mowing, that's why. This is the two of wands. Twin flames. What you guys can build in this globe, you know, when you escape together to each other, it, you're both carrying the torch for that. It's why you're existing right now, is for the other person. And I'm saying that because of this star card up here. Infinity is pulling for or pushing you guys to collaborate. And both of those tor torches need to be carried as one. Because what you guys can do together is absolutely wonderful and amazing. And then the other side is the star card. So do not lose faith or give up any kind of hope. Because it's absolutely coming for you. And you can celebrate this together this spring and this summer. You're so lucky. I love your cards. I was thinking I did a Pisces read the other day. And theirs didn't turn out quite as well. And it's all about the way you perceive it, though. <clears throat> and I really saw some bad cards there for them. And I told it the way that I feel it. You know, I think that there's more than going on for them this spring and it's all leading to wonderful stuff but they're gonna have to go through some stuff first okay let's pull the cards from the the do style the do i don't know how to say the word oops two goes here 
I just kind of move up there because it's a little too hard to reach that far. Oh my gosh, I wish they'd stop mowing over there. It makes my allergies so active. Inflammation and stuff. You can probably hear it in my voice. I, don't, I think I started the recording before they started mowing it and it sounded different. It always does. Seeing two completely different alternatives for your future outlooks at the top there. And I'll get into that in just a minute here. <clears throat> so first off, the card to fall in the middle is the luxury card. So this could be a situation where, if for some of you anyways, where there's two different relationships going on at this moment. And you may be a little bit dominated by that. But this person comes first and it's a, the truth is going to be for, forced to you forever until you guys give in and, you know, start to be together. The top left is one scenario. Keep with this oppression. You are going to experience a lot of sorrow and somebody's going to be telling you about it your whole entire life and making you feel like you're not adequate somehow. But uh, on the top right here, then we have this queen of wands. So... You guys are the only ones that can satisfy each other's desires. You're always going to be thinking about each other. Next comes the Empress card. So it's the number three. And you guys are basically, the vibe I'm getting here is empathy. And um, I feel like you can feel each other, even if you're not together. So they're going to be a part of your life no matter what. Next comes the Princess of Discs with this card here. <clears throat> it's these the sparks of this new way to manifest that yin yang you know so that look for that it's coming a way to make your relationship with them be completely super happy and everything down here we have psychological factors so there may be periods where there's a little bit of inactivity going on and this card could refer to the you know that pisces energy those old souls like you can be happy anywhere and so you don't really need to always be basically like taking action because I feel like you're healing people wherever you are, no matter what. But the another psychological factor is this lust card. That one's pretty self-explanatory, right? <laughs> it's the number 11. This is definitely a flame reading, twin flame reading. And you two are the only ones. You need to bring those torches together and act as one. Oh, sorry about a motorcycle. <laughs> knight of Swords. The knight in these decks, this specific deck, is actually the king, which is confusing, I know. But you definitely know what, what to tell this other person, and they know how to talk to you too, and you can share everything about who you actually are with them because they, they love it. It's, it's, it's a forced where with other people you might not be able to voice your who you are well with them you can and that's definitely guided um, ace of discs this side over here this is universal stuff that you you can't really avoid or but you can work with it you're being given new ways to manifest this person it's gonna be like oh my gosh duh, if i did this i could do with them or I could make it work out with them if you are together already. And then the star card next. So that's that hope, faith, and rejuvenation. They renew you. They give you hope. And when you're not with them, this is how you feel. Very disappointed in life without fulfilling your emotional needs. I'll do a channeled card here. <clears throat> but first. 
first let me put down these numbers cards. We do it like this. This is non-specific, so we will not use um, a male or a female card to represent the middle. We'll just kind of do it like this. Now I'll put eight cards down, and we'll see what they say. Number three, number 24, number 35, number 21, Number 11, haha, <laughs> flame. And a fox, it looks like my dog. Number 18. Number 44. And number two. Now, just look at these numbers here for a minute or so. I'm gonna grab a cup of water because of my allergies and I'll be right back. Come on, gamble puppy. Trying to run out with me. Okay, back. <clears throat> okay, drink my water. <clears throat> so the first card is number three. And the house denotes success in all ventures. If your present condition is unpleasant, the future will be happy and prosperous. This can also predict marriage. Next we have number 24. This is hand in hand, confiding disposition. When it's in close proximity to, I'm looking at the numbers, it's not close proximity to any of those ones. That's not applicable, okay. But this is like shaking hands, making a deal with each other. Are just even telling each other that this is the way it's always been. It's always been them. The number 35 is the tower surrounded by clouds. So this denotes sickness and if adjoining death. But those cards are what they wrote back in the day and they're a little harsh. Nobody's going to die. But it could mean, think of the tower moments in the other decks, <clears throat> some endings coming. We have the number 21, the stork. It denotes change of residence for the better. And this is sooner or later. It's going to happen sooner or later. Gotta drink my water. <clears throat> I get a strong feeling with that one. And the stork could be, you know, babies. <laughs> for some of you. Number 11, the fox. And the, the, the way this reads, it is in close proximity to the person. And they say that it all gets distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you in that spot. So somebody around you might be trying to deceive you. But I have a, a strong feeling that you already know it. The number 18 here, this represents the lady the divine feminine and that's all that that spot means so that could be happening to the df number 44 <clears throat> the broken glass foretells ill luck for long years if near and it is near so what i sense big time down here with these cards is that whomever is trying to deceive you you need to get away from those people and you need to get with your person instead because they're, we got so many of the emperor cards, they will take care of your needs and they will take care of you and not treat you bad like this other people might be. Number two, the moon, when near, which it is, it's a good omen. So this is predicting fortune and that's what I was just talking about was you guys getting together. It would be a really good thing and you would feel like unbelievably taken care of and the, your well-being would completely change. You'd be very satisfied. 
And in life, it may have been a long time for some of you anyways, since you've really felt that way. You deserve to. And just for the heck of it, this was the number nine that was flipped upside down here. And it is, that's the most important part of this probably. It, it's just, it's telling about some misfortune and you have some very fierce enemies. So leave that stuff behind so that you can have your person instead. They want to need you right now because there were so many wands in the other portion of the reading. Last cards are the channeled messages. I'm gonna put them up here. And do, I'll do two, one there. I like to do, most of the time I'll do three here. Unless more pop out. One more. These are so sweet. I love these messages. And I'll do five at the bottom. One. Two. Three. And this one's popping out. We'll get it. Four. And five. Like I said, if more popped out, I would use them. Because these last two, we'll also look at that. Okay, up here at the top, we have this card. Patience is the best virtue in life, but I've been patient long enough. Good things come to those who wait. I'm ready. To me, and when I channeled this message, it, message it's the I'm ready now message. They're going to tell you that they're ready. Second, it says, you mean the world to me. I see you in every person and I feel you when I'm in nature. And that one really reminds me of that Empress card. But what I, see, what I think is that you can connect with source when you're outside in nature. And that's why we're doing the reading outside today, by the way. And when you're able to do that, it's really great because you, you, it reminds you of how much you love this other person. And that song, I'll Be Seeing You by Billie Holiday is whom I was thinking of when I wrote that one down. I love that song. Next card says, you are the one I think of when I think of love. I picture holding you in my arms forever. I think of you when they're cuddling up, cozying down for the day, they're picturing being in your arms. This one says, you are my world. It's always been you, even before I met you. And I know this now, it will always be you. This one really goes well with that first card. They're saying, I'm ready. I've been being patient in my life. And, you know, now this card, it really reinforces that. It's like they felt like they knew you before they even met you. Like when the first day they met you, they're like, they're so familiar. Next card. I'm communicating with you. I don't always use words to do it. And I wonder if you can hear me in parentheses or exclamation so <laughs> I have to go twin flames with this you guys are communicating in 5D with that card they're thinking of you all the time and whenever they're thinking of you you feel good you feel them it's unconditional love you're sharing it relationships are fighting at times and I wouldn't want to have serious arguments with you because I don't ever want to hurt you. So you may have been in some bad relationships in the past and that stuff really messed you guys up back then. And like, I think you'd be afraid that if like you're with your person now, so that just shows a little bit of fear. They would never, ever want to have to do that with you. They respect you too much is what I'm feeling and hearing. This card says, I know I have a higher purpose and the key lies in connecting with you. But how am I going to make that happen? So the clock is ticking. They're trying to figure out a way. This one reminds me of the Hierophant card. Um, that the, you guys have the same key to the same door. And you're both always trying to, like, in your mind, think of a way to make it work out. So you don't get blacked out, right? This one says, you are my happy place, the place I go when I escape from the reality that is my life. You're their happy place. They think of you. 
when they're having a rough situation. They say, I'm not even going to let that bother me. I'm just going to sit over here and think about my person. This one says, I just want to hang out with you and celebrate life together with you. Every victory makes me wish you were here to share it with. So every time something good and they do that little jig and they like dance around, they're thinking of you. And they wish they could share it with you. All of their victories. Okay. These two also fell out in the bottom here. And this, so this could be for some of you and not all of you since it didn't get put into the rotation. When I picture raising a family, I always envision you as the other parent. And we are all so happy. It's the first one. And the second one says, but why didn't it work out that way then? If we are supposed to be together, we should. Maybe we weren't ready. I like that little add on there at the end. Maybe we, maybe we weren't ready then, but I think that you are now. And I have to admit, like with this one, it's like, it almost feels like you guys have already, you know, you're either raising families with other people who aren't right for you or something like that. Or in some cases, the children may be grown even. But it's like, if that's the case for some of you, not all of you, you know, maybe it was like the whole time you were raising your children, you were thinking, I wish that the other person was the other parent instead. Or for the people who don't have children, it could be animals even. Like, oh my gosh, they'd be the best doggy daddy or mommy. They take so good care of them. And the, the, that second one's that fear, like... um. But why? If it was supposed to work out, why didn't it work out? <laughs> I really get the feeling with that one. You guys have been waiting and sort of like expecting just to see how the universe makes it happen because you know it's coming in this lifetime. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am MJ and I'm your Atlas to Life. To purchase a personalized reading, I do full reads for $33.33, which I think is extremely reasonable because this is a lot of cards. <laughs> Email me. It's em3dj3 at gmail.com. If you want just a twin flame reading with 11 cards, I, I do those for $11.11. .11. And I had some, you know, random weird offers. Um, people said, well, can I, can I do 10 cards for 10-10? Because that's their number or 12-12. So whatever works for you, I can do anything. Even if you like the number three a lot, you know, we could do $3.33 for three cards. What are your numbers? Let me know. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, you don't want to miss any of my future readings. I also do many things. I do yoga videos, meditation videos. I play guitar and I've been meaning to make some guitar videos, but I'm just so busy with all of the other stuff that I do. I've done some informational videos for the collective when I got messages. I've done some channeled stuff. I do pick a card readings. I do readings by sign. I do a lot of twin flame readings. I'm doing them every day of the week for people. I have a special ability where I can sort of channel your energies together and I can take you to a place where your energy is cleansed and your vibing's high enough to pull them in yourself. And I think it's beautiful and wonderful. Give it a shot. <clears throat> it's uncanny. It's not really surprising to me though. Every time I do these, the people get a hold of me in some of the cases they haven't talked to them in months and they say I don't know how you did what you did but they called me last night and it's just so unbelievable and amazing um, the last person who said that and almost every single per person will say it but some of them you know are actually talking to the people all the time so it's not so significant but it does always work but the one that just meant so much to me just recently here they had been apart for two months and he, she called him and she told him, I've been thinking about you so much lately and I, I just needed to have some time away and like that now they're together and it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. All right. Stay grateful, stay thankful, and we will all be blessed collectively. Do the work and vibe high because I love the way that feels and our collective is changing. We're healing the world. I can feel it. Peace, love, namaste from me, MJ. I'm your Atlas to Life, em3dj3 at gmail.com for personalized readings. Oh, by the way, I actually do a dollar eleven readings on Etsy, and that link will be down below too if you'd like just a dollar reading one card. 
Peace and out. Love you.